Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Worst effing gamer here guys. Very excited about a brand new awakening that we're about to do today. Do you see what I see? And if you do see it, then you're pretty good. Your eyesight is great, just like mine. <laughs> Perfect, 25 for 25, we've got a brand new hero, the eyeball is about to be awakened today guys, he's gonna turn from one eyeball into a giant two eyeballs, I'm pretty sure, because after this awakening, he's gonna be a killer beast guys, I'm crazy excited, so if you're out there, you're wearing a v-neck, masculine as hell, <laughs> manly as hell, <laughs> Leave a like guys, let's go ahead, let's start this awakening because I'm crazy excited about this um, Optus here And I'm also crazy excited about my v-neck, so let's go Alright, so we are taking on the title temple Now might I say guys, let's just go ahead, but might I say that the last three heroes have all been title temple And I hate it, I don't know why it's been messing up with my style man They're, they're cramping my style here, I could have already been done with these awakenings If it wasn't for the same exact awakening, the last three heroes, but hey who are we to judge, guys? We just take it as it comes, and that's it. We just take it. Now, let's go ahead. Let's accept the quest. And we've got to do this one without anybody dying. And uh, I'm not used to anybody dying, guys. If you know me, the GOAT, I don't let anybody die. Oh, I've never lost one single hero in a thousand battles. I will not start today. Hashtag no losses. No heroes dead. None. All right, let's go. Let's do this! Alright, let's see what the eyeball has to say. The eye sees all. Yes, he does. Um, actually, guys, in, real in reality, your eyes are not what actually sees. If you know anything about anything, if you're not an idiot, you know... <laughs> I'm kidding. If you know anything about the eyeball, guys, is your eyes are literally just mirrors to the brain. They just take in the signals. I mean, they just take in what they see. They send the signal to the brain. And then your brain translates to itself what it sees what actually you're seeing and that's why a lot of times you think you see something but you actually didn't see it it's your brain filling in the gap but we're getting into too deep right now guys that's just more serious stuff right now we're here to have some fun uh all who oppose are uh, i messed up that all up all who oppose me are doomed just like the lord of the rings eyeball this guy has the same exact theory in mind if you oppose the eyeball you're dead for some reason, they have a great sense of... I don't know what these eyeballs are thinking, but... They have a great sense of pride. For some strange... But let's go into his ultimate right now, guys. My next victims! Look at this ultimate, it's awesome. He turns into some weird dimension thing, and then five... Um, balls just come rushing out of his eyes. Boom, 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 boom! And then just smashes everybody! The scum have been destroyed! <laughs> this is... This is funny, man. This eyeball really knows how to shit talk. Roasted? He just roasted them all. Okay, guys. I'm gonna need you to sit down for this because this is gonna be monumental, guys. I have to straighten my v-neck. Monumental! Let's go! Get me to... Let's see this transformation. Whoa! Holy crap! That is sick! Uh, my eyeball just turned red as hell. Whoa, that's not good for your eyes, guys. Uh, pink eye, I'm thinking right away, pink eye. <laughs> Obtuse is all of a sudden going to be pink tooth. We're going to call him the pink eye. Damn, look at the bounce on this guy. He's awesome. All right, so that's a big difference right there. It went from blue to red, and all of a sudden, wow, that is phenomenal. Oh my god, look how sick this card looks, guys. This is no doubt epic as hell. This looks sick. Wow, I love this art. It's like a big hand that comes out of nowhere that's holding the eyeball and shooting out a big blast. That's probably the gaze of death. Look at the difference. That looks awesome. That Now that looks like the Lord of the Ring eye, guys. Mordor or... Uh, crap, what was the name of the damn... I and the I, Lord of the Rings, as I keep forgetting, but look at how awesome this looks. Holy shit, I'm loving this eyeball. Wow, dude, that's sick. Uh, we can, well, you can't put any ruins yet, guys, because you need to be level 3, level 4, or level 5 to be able to equip ruins. But 
we could work on Raven's Blessing. So Raven's Blessing is, let's see, under the gaze of the Raven Spirit, an enemy with the high DPS will be enchanted. Success rate depends on the ability. All right, guys. So as I recently found out, if they are enchanted, it means they are charmed. They will start attacking their own teammates. So we're going to go ahead, spend some gems on this and, you know, max this out because it's not going to work unless it's maxed. No, ow. So here we go. Can we put a pet on him or what? Yes, let's put him some... What? Oh no! What does that mean? What? Why? Uh, hero unmatched conditions? What is that? What? 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 Um. So, can they not get a pet unless they're elite? Maybe three stars? I'm not really sure if that's the rules. I didn't know that. So, two star heroes cannot get pets? That doesn't make no sense! Alright, here you can't put a pet on them yet. I'm not sure why, to be honest with you guys. I thought you could, but I guess maybe they have to be three stars. Boy, my battery's dying now. Holy crap, we gotta speed this up. All right, guys, so let's go ahead. Let, let's move on to the next part here. And let's see what Optus can do. All right, guys, here we are in the forge. And uh, boy, I, every time I see this eyeball, I love it more and more. Look how sick it looks. So I'm gonna auto forge 20 times, guys. Like I said before, 20 times is a good amount, you know, to start off with. And then after 20 times, you're better off going one by one because uh, you're gonna be wasting a lot of gems if you're gonna go all the way 50 like I used to. So don't do that no more! But uh, 20 times is a good amount. Look, I still get to the, around the same spot. Around mid-20s is good enough, all right? So next one's Magic Pierce rating. Max health, Magic attack. Hmm, nice, Optus. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so what's next? All right, so next up, guys, we are in the Hero Village. In the Village. And we're about to Village the shit out of this guy right now. So let's see what we're going to do. Increase Magic Armor or increase his Physical Armor. Let's see. So if you know his abilities, um, Midline Hero is going to shoot out beams out of his eyes and he's going to also um, stun some people that get too close to him. So physical armor might be good. Magic armor might be good too. Uh, you can go either one. Let's go with physical. I'll go with physical. Let's get physical. Physical. Reduce spell recovery. Increase healing. Mm. Um, you know what? This guy has absolutely no healing abilities. Reduce spell recovery time. I'm gonna go with spell recovery time, guys. Let's go with spell recovery time. Increase hit recovery, increase dodge. I really don't think dodge is good for him. But we're gonna go with hit recovery. This way he recovers a lot faster when he is stunned, guys. And energy bonus or energy, energy efficiency. Midline, backliners, mostly energy efficiency. Okay, so we got Magic Attack, Magic Pierce Rating, or Ability. Ability, guys. Ability works best for all heroes. Next up, next stage, we got Magic or Physical. Once again, I love getting Physical. That's my way to go, guys. Physical, Physical, let's go. Max Health, Max Recovery. Uh, <laughs> Max Health, Max Health all the way. Let's just get it done. Get her done. Increase energy recovery new. Uh, kill resistant bonus. Increase resistant silence. I'm going to go with kill resistant bonus, guys. Meta game right now is not all about silence. That's why I'm avoiding that physical toughness. I'm going physical all the way. All right. And then the last one is magic crit damage or magic crit rating. Magic crit damage. Magic crit rating. Uh, let me think for a second, guys. Not sure how his... Magic crit already is right now. He's only two stars, so I can't really tell. And I haven't enchanted his items yet. Uh, saving some gold, but let's just take a look at what this crit rating is looking like right now. So let's see. So right now, magic crit rating is 288 plus another 230. That's actually not bad. That's pretty good. But when I compare him to another really, really high crit rating hero like Mog... Uh, it's actually not that good in comparison. Check it out. 281 for Mog is natural um, rating, but then he's got a bonus of 1,144. But all the items are enchanted, so that's actually not too bad. Now I compare him again to another hero here, Sylphie, who's uh, maxed out, and hers is uh, 270 plus 192. So hers is less than his, so he's got a pretty high crit rating here compared to some of these other heroes. So now I'm really leaning toward going uh, crit damage instead of the rating because if I do rating it's just gonna increase his odds but his odds are already pretty high at getting a crit plus 
his ultimate is gonna shoot off five times your chances of that one actually being a crit is pretty it's actually pretty good so i'm gonna go with crit damage guys i love crit damage here on uh the eyeball i think it's the best way to go all right so that's it that's maxed out for the heroic uh village for you guys and uh, let's move on all right guys so i'm gonna break this down as i always do for you guys slow down uh, slow down the battle here so we can actually see what he does if you want to take a look at all of his abilities guys you already know uh go check out his spotlight video because i break down all of his abilities one by one one through four now this one is mostly we're going to take a look at his awakened ability i want to see i want to show you how it actually works in action if you already know uh first second ability is his laser third ability is this uh, this is the uh, gaze of destruction where he hit somebody there now he goes this one is uh, the Usually I think about it the counter to Volko here is where he blinds So as you can see Kong gets blinded there anybody around gets blinded It also has an effect that it stops any hero from going invincible. All right, so that's why I like to call it the Volko uh, counter here all right, so we haven't seen his awakening just yet, guys. The awakening, we will be waiting for ravens. So here it is. There it goes, guys. As you can see, the ravens come out. This is uh, the raven spirits. Now, it's going to charm somebody here, but we cannot see who. And there it is. You can see it right on Octo, guys. Check out Octo. The ravens have charmed him. He turns around. Now, he's actually turned on his own team. So he goes in at first. He's attacking his own teammates. He's getting hit there by Kong. And... Uh, this kind of makes the battle 5-6 on 4 at the moment right now because we don't have to worry about Octo. He's also getting hit by the, the Ray there and now he's dead. Boom. Dead meat. So only Kong is left which is going to make the battle a lot more easier for us. Boom. Destruction. And that's how you do it guys. That's his awakening ability. He's going to charm somebody and then they're pretty much all dead once he charms them because um, I mean it's 5-4 and four, but not necessarily. Alright so let's take a look at the damage here. Uh, let's finish it all the way so these are the damage calculations and uh, it's not that impressive he doesn't really do that much damage but like i said before uh so how the hell did sylphie do no damage here it's really weird calculations but like i said before guys he's got a lot of different different options that you can go with all right a lot of different options i've tested them out a lot uh, sometimes he does a lot better damage, sometimes not as good damage. I have to enchant all his items to know for sure. And he, two stars ain't gonna do it right now in the arena, especially when he's facing all, you know, six, seven star heroes. So it's a little bit harder to judge. But from what I can see, usable in the arena for sure, guys. A lot of different counters that he has. So right away, I'm liking him in the arena. So, so far on paper, sounds like a great hero, guys. Uh, counters DPS heroes, pretty good, actually. And uh, like I said before, I still feel like he's a great counter to uh, Volko. Now, a lot more testing needs to be done. But you guys are in luck because you're in the right place, guys. I will do all the testing for you. Don't you worry. Check out the live streams. You're going to check him out in a lot more action. Once I get him to three and four stars by the end of this month, for sure. You know, we're going to have him at least four stars by the end of the month. And then probably seven stars as soon as he's released, pretty much. But... Yeah, I'll do a lot more testing in the arena so you guys can actually see how good he can be. For now, I love it. On paper, his abilities sound great, guys. He can charm somebody, he can do a lot of damage, and he can turn his DPS, the DPS heroes on your opponent's side of the field against their own teammates. That's pretty good, guys. What's not to love? So, a lot of usabilities for Optus here. And it's like I always say, guys, why have two small eyes when you can have one big giant red eye? So that's pretty much it for today, guys. I will check you guys out on the next Soul Hunters video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.